to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether to snow blur in the mind, to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep, and by sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is there too. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep perchance to dream, why there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come. When we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There is the respect that makes calamity of such long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that the patient merit of the unworthy take, when he himself might his quietus make with a bare bodkin. Who would fardels bear? to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death. The undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to those we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all. And thus the native hue of resolution is sickly to o'er with the pale cast of thought and enterprises of great pith and moment. With this regard, their currents turn awry and lose the name of action.